right, here we go again. Off to the next trip. Off to the next trip, we are going to Vermont this time. It's really fun because we're actually going to, sorry, we're actually going to be working with Vermont Tourism. So this is a work trip. Um, and we're gonna be taking you guys along, showing you all these great spots in Vermont um, for the next couple of days. So stay tuned. to get coffee. Let's go. Our first stop of the day is coffee. I actually just looked up this place online to see like the best coffee spots here in Brattlesboro or Brattleboro. Um, and Mocha is one of them, so let's go in. I got a maple latte and Alex got the breakfast steamer, which is like oat milk, nutmeg, cinnamon, and then he got a shot of espresso. And a compostable plastic straw. We've been getting some messages about stopping at this co-op, so we just picked up a little bit of breakfast, decided to try it out. Everything here is so damn beautiful. Look at this, this is our ride for the week. A nice Audi Q3. It's funny because we actually used to have this car, so it's very nostalgic driving this again. We really love this car. Okay, so we are off right now to our first location and adventure of the day. We're gonna yes. be going to an animal farm that has yes. goats, chickens, pigs, an ox named Oslo. Oslo. Um, it's called Retreat Farm. Did and it's only four minutes from the hotel, which is really did nice. Did we already mention the whole thing about why we're here? No, so, well, I kind of did on the plane yesterday. Okay. So we're actually here with Vermont Tourism. We are yes. doing a partnership with them um, to show you guys all around Vermont. Well, a couple of different towns. So, right um, so we're um, exploring a bunch of different parts of Vermont um, yes. today. Well, last night we arrived in Brattleboro, um, so we're gonna um, um, explore some places in Brattleboro today, and then head to a couple other spots to finish off the week in yeah. Vermont. Um, and we're gonna take you along with us, so stay tuned. Oh my God, look at this. He's beautiful, look at that, yeah. Imagine he just like bites you. I know, man. Huh? <laughs> You're beautiful, he's a little hot. Majestic. So big. And obviously, you know, anywhere there's cheese, we oh. must go. Okay, so we found this place called, what's it called? Yeah. Elliot Street Fish, Chips, and More. I got a tempeh salad. And I got this, I don't even know what this is. It's a vegan wrap. Oh my god, and some french fries. Because you call it such a cool piece of art in these places, you know? And the cool blazers, you know? You really can stumble upon, like. That's so cool. Look at the typer. All right, our next stop on. Our Vermont tour of tour. Vermont. We're, We're going to Burrow Museum. Yes. I think it's what type of museum is this? Do you know? Like yeah. an art museum? I would like to actually have no idea. So cool. Okay, so we have officially left Brattleboro, Brattleboro. Vermont. Um, that was a very cute town, so very cute. small, but so cute and like, quaint. Yeah, I was gonna say, very cute, quaint, and very quiet. Also, yeah. very progressive, which we love. Yeah, like, yeah. Every person we see has some pride sort flags, of like pride flag BLM or like or... no racism is accepted here, and it's like such great. Yeah, so we felt really things. comfortable there. Yeah. Um, explored a bunch, went to the museum, um, went to 
coffee shop. Uh, what else did we do? We went to co-op. We went to that farm, which was really cool. You know what's really cool here, too? I feel a lot of the stuff, or at least the, the couple of activities we've done, they've been free, which is really yeah. interesting. So, like, the farm we went to was, was free. free, and they just accept donations. And then the art museum we went to was also free. Um, they just would like a donation between 0 and $10 per person, yeah. which was right, which was great. fantastic. So, And we obviously gave a donation. Yeah. Because so, we expected to pay. So Yeah, definitely. Um, so, we love it. We loved we love Brattleboro. So, we just left maybe a half hour ago, and we're on our way to Manchester, Vermont, because that's where we'll be spending the rest of tonight, Thursday, and then Friday, um, we leave mean? Friday. Um, now we're going to this place, and we're going to check into our hotel. Um, this hotel is going to be so different than yes. the one we just stayed in. The one we just stayed in was like, oh, I kept saying to Alex, look, look. Oh, yeah, another, another pride flag. Beautiful pride flag. Um, they, the hotel we just stayed at, I kept saying, was very um, <laughs> very eerie-like. It was kind of like it was Hotel dated. Cortez. Hotel Cortez um, from American Horror Story, if you get that reference. Yeah. Um, but the one we're going to now, it's a golf resort. So yeah, it looks beautiful. We're excited to see what this looks like, where it is. It looks yeah. like it's beautifully set back on like a mountain. Yeah. So I'm excited to check this out. Check that it. Check out. Check it. Check that out. We're gonna check in tonight. Walk around a little bit. Go to dinner. Just to dinner and then and then chill. Relax. And then tomorrow yeah, we'll yeah. pack in all the other activities. Arriving at our second hotel stop. We're very excited for this one. This is the Equinox Golf Thanks. Resort and Spa. Very fancy. Sounds good to me. Okay, we just got to our hotel, completely obsessed. It's a golf resort and spa. It is so cute, so family oriented. We literally love it. It honestly reminds me of one of those hotels um, in Disney World, if you know what I mean. Okay, Alex says that this is not family oriented. I, I think, think it is. I just he think it's more it's like, a, like um, upscale. Like an upscale like hotel, so I wouldn't think Oh, like, look at this view. Hold on, let me show this to you. Look at the view out there. How like, pretty. Do you really oh think the kids God. are going to keep you out there? Oh, please. Before we go to dinner, we've got to show you some of the cheeses we picked up from the Grafton Village Cheese Company. Sage cheddar. Sage Yum. Cheddar. Sounds so good. We got some fresh Parmesan Reggiano and then a two-year aged cheddar cheese. We're so excited to bring these back. Have a little cheese night at home. Cheers. Sweet dinner tonight. Little dinner date. Good morning, good morning from our second day in Vermont. Second full day in Vermont. Um, I'm actually by myself right now because Mike is not feeling well. Um, he, it's so crazy. We were at dinner last night and he started to get like a little bit of a cough and sneeze and we're not sure if it's allergies or like the elevation or whatever. So he woke up this morning not feeling great and we have to do so much today. So I ran out to the pharmacy and bought some medicine for him and then I'm picking up breakfast right now at this cute spot called Dina's Bakery Cafe. Um, got some avocado toast, a beet salad, and roasted potatoes. It's very cute, um, and it's only like five blocks down from the hotel. So that's what I'm doing right now, and hopefully this medicine works for Mike. Okay, so day two here in Vermont. We are on to one of our first locations, which is Depot 62. I guess it's like a top bed and a home furnishing spot. Yeah, we're really excited to out. check this out. It looks beautiful, very like antique and vintage, so we'll take yeah. you guys through. Look at these beautiful rugs. It's really cool. We were just talking to one of the guys that works here, and he said that they design all of the rugs and everything in-house, and then they have partners in like Turkey, Afghanistan, all over. Um, who use all organic and yeah. like handmade processes. All the food here, the wine, everything is organic. Yeah. Um, and like made locally or really cool. Sourced. Right up our alley. So cool.
Really? Do you want to go down here? Yeah. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful bathroom. Oh, you got one. The, the cleanliness of, yeah. this, of this room where yeah. we just made this just about an hour ago, we finished. And cheese that is wow. prepared yeah. and ready takes six days to be ready. Doing a little shopping today. Outlet Manchester for Outlet Theory. Trying some stuff on. Just doing a little shopping at the Manchester outlets here in theory. Loving this polo. The texture is really, really nice. And these pants are such an interesting material. They fit really nice. Hi, Blakey. Oh. Hi, Blakey. Even today. Emma. It's his first birthday. Okay, Happy Emma. birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Just doing a little editing in bed this morning before we pack up and head to the airport. We have a oh gosh, two and a half hour ride today to the airport. Oh. Should we do a quick little room tour before we leave? We meant to do this yesterday, but we just didn't. We have a little desk area here. Bed. Yeah, we have vanity here, then shower and toilet in there. And we have this the cube out here. Push, push. Oh, push. <laughs> we have our own little balcony, which was so nice. Oh, look at the dog. With the view of the mountains. This is such a nice place. All of your recommendations. We are stopping at Zoe's Deli before we head to the airport. Um, everyone said this is fantastic, so we're really excited to try it out. Look at the size of this veggie sandwich. It's insane. And then. I know, I gotta open it. Hold on. So I got the veggie on marble rye. Oh my god. And then Mike got tuna on... And just like that, we are back at the airport, ready to go back to Philly. The one good thing about this trip is that it is so quick. It's only like a 50 minute flight home, so we're just excited to get home, spend some time on the couch. My sister's there, hang out with her tonight, maybe order some pizza. We'll see.